Hi, Alan Chaffron back to you again today. For those of you who are thinking about selling your home sometime in the near future, um, I just wanted to talk about something that I thought was very, very important for the sale of your home, and that is pictures. It's the number one thing that we're seeing out there. It's the first thing all the buyers are seeing on websites today, on advertising, on mailers, everything that we do. And um, I'm seeing every day different houses where I go, wow, I really felt like that could have been done better. I learned from my own mistakes in the past, so I thought I would share some of our experiences with you. So, a couple of things. Um, I know everybody loves the phones and they love the iPads and all of that today. I just still feel that as it relates to selling your home, they're still inferior photography. They can only do so much, they can only bring in so much light. They do a good job, but if you're selling homes and you want to sell them at the very best level, I think professionalism, high level photography is the key. So that's the first spot. And rely on whoever you're hiring to get the best person because there are photographers out there that are real specialists as it relates to real estate. They know what kind of light to bring in, how not to make it look fake, um, how to really bring the realism of the property to life on the web. Which brings us to the second point of that. Your pictures that you choose, uh, I think it's best to choose something that's beautiful but also shows realism. The concept strategically, I think anyway, is to have someone see the home, feel they're beautiful, but still come to the home and be pleasantly surprised. So what's the opposite of that that we've seen? Is sometimes we'll go to a home and we're expecting to see amazing ocean views only to realize that when we get to the home, if you climb to the top of the roof, pull out the periscope, go up, right, over, and lean, you might see a glimpse one day on a perfect day, maybe. You might even have to get into the balloon that's waiting for you on the top of the roof. So I don't really know. My, my point there is be real. Show them what they're really dealing with so that someone can only go up from that perspective. Um, also, just a couple of hints, you don't have to have 50 pictures. In fact, sometimes Putting too many pictures up takes away from the very best pictures that are there because people are looking at a lot of homes. They're running, they're scrolling, they're, they're moving really fast today. And if the pictures are too boring or they're not really giving any impact to the process of the buyer looking at your home, they might just skip it and go on to the next one. So again, I would rely on your representative for that because you've been living in the home and sometimes because you've been living in the home, you might love the amazing faucet that has the eagle on it but that might not be something that we know as representatives the buyers are most interested in out there. They might want to see more of the kitchen or less of that or the bigger yard or what kind of angle that you have there. So rely on your realtor for that. And, and sometimes you'll have a room that isn't quite done properly. You don't have to show that room if it's not perfect. Show the very best of what you've got, but be real about it. So if you have any questions, we're always here at the Allen Chaffron Group. Um, we absolutely take pride in specializing in this arena and we take a lot of time there. And I hope you do as well. So continued success for you. Thanks again for watching. And this is Alan Chaffron. Have a good day.